Hey everyone, Pastor Anthony Nix from Anderson 7th Avenue Church coming at you for another daily devotional this week. And it's titled, Pointers Beware. Now you're probably asking yourself, what is pointer? What is a pointer? Or who could be classified as a pointer? Well, let me tell you, a pointer is a person that always has an opinion and points out all your inconsistencies, all your deficiencies, the music that you choose to listen to, and even the appendages you choose to put on your body. Pointers are always critical about everything that you could ever do because nothing is good enough and you have to have the highest standards for Christ. Now, let me tell you, I do believe that you should be your best for Jesus and that as Jesus comes into your life, he's going to transform a lot of things. But pointers don't see things that way. They, they have this idea of sanctification, of holiness, of how you should be living. And if you don't live up to their idea of their standards, then you better watch out because they're going to point it out. You know, there's a story of a, uh, of a lady that was in a church that I pastored not too long ago. And she was a greeter, and she'd stand at the door every service, and she would point out the problems with what people were wearing. It got really bad when she approached a young lady who was pregnant, and for comfort's sake, she decided to come to church in some jean pregnancy pants. And she let it rip. She told that young lady that she should know better than to come to church like that. You know, there's a problem with that kind of behavior because it stems to something that goes deeper than just the superficial. You know, there's this lady in the 19th century, she's my favorite author, Ellen White, and she actually talks about this in this quote that I want to read to you. It says, Those who are quick to censor others, who speak words that cut and bruise the already wounded soul, are doing Satan's work and are laborers with the prince of darkness. Now those are some harsh words, but I think it's true. If you look at who Satan is in Revelation chapter 12, as the Bible talks about the war that happened in heaven between God and Satan, John the Revelator calls Satan the accuser of the brethren. He's always there. He's the top accuser. He's the top pointer. He's always there to point out our deficiencies to God, and he uses people to do the same. But you know what the Bible says about Jesus? You know, it says something really interesting about Jesus. Everyone, arguably everyone, has memorized John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But rarely do you hear verse 17 quoted, which is, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. God is not into the pointing business. He's into the saving business. And I believe as his children, we should also be in the saving business and put our pointing finger away. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you're blessed. Chew on this. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. God bless you. See you next week.